Hey guys, welcome back to Pat Max Adventures. I am Patrick and I thought I would do a video today about my first impressions of China. This is actually my third visit to China and my second visit here in beautiful Shenzhen, a very hot Shenzhen today. So some of the things I'm gonna share with you guys are things that I experienced when I first came to China a few years ago, but I also will be sharing some new things that I have experienced in my third visit here. I wanna go ahead and just get the elephant out of the room and that is cameras. Everywhere you go in China, there are cameras. There are cameras in the subways, on the streets, in the restaurants, in the malls. They are everywhere and there are a lot of them. Coming from the West, it actually made me feel a bit uncomfortable. I felt like Big Brother was watching me everywhere. It kind of reminded me of 1984, the book, and I just didn't like the idea of being followed and watched everywhere. Now learning that they do the facial recognition, that they'd be able to identify me anywhere at any time. However, on the flip side, it makes me feel very comfortable. If you've lived in China or you've traveled China, especially as a Westerner, I, you can definitely relate to what I'm about to say and that is that China is a very safe country. I personally believe that China is one of the safest countries in the world. A lot of my friends and Americans back home will think that I'm crazy to say that, but until you've traveled China and you've been through the country, you won't understand how safe it is until you come here. And with the cameras, it makes it that much safer because it's going to decrease the crime. People are not going to be pickpocketing you or robbing you or mugging you as much knowing that all these cameras are watching them and that they can be caught. On the plus side, it increases security. On the downside, I feel like my privacy is invaded a little, so it's kind of like this double feeling with it. Coming back to China, I had to get used to seeing the cameras a lot. Other countries like South Korea have implemented a lot of cameras as well. China, I think, is number one as far as the amount of cameras and all the facial recognition. The next thing that I really noticed about China, especially this third visit here to China, is the marketing. There are commercials and marketing everywhere. I'm staying with my friend Danny here in Shenzhen in his apartment building. He lives on the 20th floor. Before you even enter the elevator, there is a screen with commercials of Burger King and Starbucks and Chinese brands. And then right to the right side of the elevator, there's another screen with ads. As soon as you get in the elevator and the elevator door is shut, there's another ad projected on the inside of the elevator. I don't remember seeing this many ads here in China and it kind of reminds me of the 1990s film Minority Report with Tom Cruise. If you've ever seen that movie there's a lot of hologram marketing or hologram commercials like when you walk into a mall and I feel like that's where China's going. They're not there yet but I could definitely see in about 10 years walking through some of the malls here in Shenzhen and having a hologram of a commercial popping up, but they're definitely heading that way. Another thing that I've noticed which has really increased here in China is that China is really becoming a cashless society. If you've been in China, you are well aware of Alipay, WeChat Pay, along with some other companies. So when you go to a mom and pop's restaurant or you go to a fancy restaurant or you go to 7-Eleven or Family Mart or any store here in China, the majority of people now pay with their phones so you literally open your WeChat or your Alipay you scan the barcode that's on the wall or on the counter at the restaurant or wherever you're purchasing your items and it quickly pays the item and then you go you order you sit down you eat you scan the barcode and you're done there's no cash involved if you're a foreigner like me and you don't live in China and you don't have a Chinese bank account, I don't think you're gonna be able to do this. I'm not able to do it because I don't have a Chinese bank account. If you do live in China, then you can hook up your bank account to Alipay or WeChat Pay or any of these companies and then you can go ahead and pay this way. It's very interesting to me that I, some of the places that I've gone and I've given cash, there was one mom and pop's restaurant that was kind of taken back by the cash because I think they were so used to everyone just scanning and paying with their phones. So this is something to expect when you come to China that pretty much everywhere you go, you'll see people paying with their WeChat or Alipay and it's super quick, it's super efficient, but it's something different that I haven't really seen in many other countries. Something that I noticed when I first came to China back in 2012 that I'm not a big fan of and it's still a big thing going on here in 2019 is smoking. People here smoke and they smoke a lot. I don't like smoking. I've never really liked smoking. It doesn't bother, I mean, I, I, I'm okay if friends want to smoke, but having the smoke all in my face everywhere I go, I really don't like that. 
I've had it happen twice at my friend's apartment where a guy had a cigarette, walks into the elevator with his cigarette and continues to smoke as we go up to the 20th floor. That I did not like as well as spitting. Everywhere you go in China, you're gonna hear the ha <laughs> Spitting is a very normal, thing here in China and if you don't like the sound of spitting if it really really bothers you then it's gonna be very difficult for you to travel throughout China I had to get used to hearing the spitting again because it's been about over a year since I've been in China and actually funny story the last time I was here I started spitting and I'm not a spitter <laughs> I'm not a spitter, that, that sounds a little weird, but I'm not a spitter. But I caught myself spitting. I got so used to people spitting around me that one day I just started spitting and I was like, oh my God, I'm spitting like a Chinese guy. <laughs> when I left China, I continued to spit, which was in Singapore, which is probably not the best place to spit in public. In China, the cities are rated at a certain system. So for example, Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, and Guangzhou are tier one cities. They are some of the biggest cities, the richest cities, the largest populations. A tier two city would be like Xi'an or Chengdu, which are a bit smaller, maybe not quite as rich as Shenzhen or Guangzhou or Shanghai. Even in the tier two cities, you'll still find a lot of signs that are in Chinese and English. But as far as reading signs and getting around and reading maps you're gonna have no problem when it comes to English another thing is that people here in China and Chinese are generally pretty friendly and very curious being a youtuber and a vlogger I talk to my camera right and everywhere I go people stare at me no matter what country I go to people stare at me and look at me like I'm crazy I'm here talking to a camera maybe some people think I'm a spy crazy things but here in China when I'm vlogging People really look at me, and not in a bad way, but they're super, super curious, where they might like just stand behind me and just stare at the camera the entire time that like I'm doing this vlog, or they'll be laughing. The other day I had two guys come up to me and wanted to take pictures and hold my camera. They were so curious about what I was doing and my whole setup and my little tripod and my little handle and everything. So that's one interesting thing here about China is that you will get stared at a lot. If you're a foreigner, you will be stared at a lot, especially if you go to more rural areas of China. And if you're a YouTuber or vlogger like me, uh, it doesn't even matter if you're in Xinjiang or a big city, people will be staring at you too with that big old camera in front of your face. So that's something to just get used to. Here in Xinjiang, people are so used to foreigners that I'm just a regular person to them. But with a camera, they're like, hmm. Before I came to China, in 2012 and I hate to say this but I, I didn't have high expectations of it being that clean and coming to China I know that I'm in a tier one city here in Shenzhen but even going out to Xi'an and Chengdu and um, some of the bigger cities Shanghai and Beijing it was a lot cleaner than I expected and I think that especially in the West we have this image of China being this kind of dirty wild uncivilized country and it's pretty developed a lot of it is of course there are still parts of china that are third world and still developing but a large amount of the country right now is pretty developed and generally pretty clean so that was something that surprised me and that i really didn't expect it to be as clean as it was when i first came in 2012 and, and even now it, it is still a lot cleaner than I thought it would be. A lot cleaner compared to some other countries I have visited here in Asia. I would love to hear from you guys who have visited China what your first impressions were of China or even if you haven't visited China what what image do you have of China? What do you think it really is like? Even after all the videos that you may have seen what have been your impressions of China? I would love to hear them in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching guys and remember to live every moment to the max. I will see you guys next time.